Uh, you know, I know a lot of you came tonight and you braved the weather and uh, I know some of you have to get up to work tomorrow, but fuck it, man. You know, fuck it. Plenty of jobs to go around, don't worry about <laughs> But anyway, I know a lot of you came tonight because you know I have a nine-year-old boy. Typically, he comes with me, you'd get to meet him. His name is Detroit, but uh, he's a good kid, he's a smart kid. Kids are precocious. I heard him talking to his buddy. He said, uh, hey, look, there's a prophylactic on the veranda. His buddy said, what's a veranda? <laughs> oh, fuck you. Come on, man. The oh, fuck? This isn't easy. And now I'm starting to sweat, and I'm thinking my toupee tape won't hold in my... Oh, no. <laughs> You've got to stay with me. We'll have fun. Come on. Kid calls home to his uh, dad. His father says, son, we're so proud to hear from you. You joined the paratroopers, and you're afraid of heights. How's things going? He said, ah, oh, Dad, I made the mistake in, in boot camp of telling that drill sergeant I was afraid of heights, and he picked on me relentlessly, you know? We got up in the plane 20,000 feet in the air. I looked down. I was petrified. A couple guys jumped ahead of me, and I didn't want to jump, Dad. And that drill sergeant, he did out an awful stuff. You know what he said to me, Dad? He said, you motherfucker, you better jump. And then you know what he said to me, Dad? He said, you dirty cocksucker, you better jump. And then you know what he said to me, Dad? He said, if you don't jump, I'm going to fuck you in the ass. His father said, did you jump? He said, a little at first. <laughs> tips for me and uh, so here they are because my kids ask me a lot of questions you got a kid I got a kid are you gonna tell them the things you did tell them the truth about your sort of youth now if he wants to know did you do blow did you get high and listen to the stereo now pops when's the first time you did a drug crime I smoked my first J on my 11th birthday and high school exams I'll just stay up to read. The kid across the street dealt an excellent speed. Were classes as boring as mine are today? Hey, most of the time I was tripping, so I really can't say. And Deb, let's see how truthful you are. Were you ever high behind the wheel of a car? Man, I thought I was flying a 747. When I sold that car, they scraped it for resin. And Deb, you courted mom. How'd you make her your own? Well, we drink a lot of vodka and we do methadone. So when he asked me about my past and did I get high? I've been seriously thinking about my reply. I'm gonna lie, 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 lie. Dad, did you do drugs? No way. Dad, did you ever do it with any woman besides mom? Uh, did you ever see that Fellini movie, Satyricon? I was 13 the first time, so good I couldn't speak. They should have wrapped me in a hefty bag and drained me twice a week. And Dad, what's the kinkiest that you ever got? Well, there was a mother and daughter upstate, crazy stupid hot. There was this girl and her dog. We won't get into that. There was these three dominatrixes in a one-room flat. Couple times in a church pew. That was a heavenly thing. There was a girl named Ruth in the booth of the Burger King. Hey, my wife's eating a whole doobie with her evil eye. My kids got inquiries. They want an honest reply. I'm going Absolutely not. Now come the tough questions that he's going to ask. Because all prosecutors say the hard stuff for last. Dad, you ever steal from the store when you didn't have the bucks? Hey, from what I remember, most of the stuff just fell off the trucks. Hey, Dad, did you ever own a gun? One like I had a license for one. Hey, Dad, did you ever steal an automobile for fun? The owners wouldn't want it when we got done. And Dad, I heard you bartended in a place that dealt crack. We were just making sure our clientele would come back. He was, that's a funny line, you fucker. I will come out. He wasn't true. I know many eyes. I said it. 